we can work with that. Cause you know, you know, it's great to go down when me and Money Green do the list. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go first this time. The last list, I need to check that one out. Was the top R and B groups of the '90s, and I think my list was much better than Shay's. And my order was. Much I beg better. to differ. And my order was much better. So maybe she's gonna redeem herself and put out a better product. So we about to see. So as a disclaimer, and I don't know who's on her list. She doesn't know who's on my list, and we put them in order from ten going up to number one. I'm gonna put a disclaimer out there. For starters, no one that is deceased is on my list. That's number one. Now, let's get into a couple of these names that aren't on the list that many of you think should be on the list. Number one, MJ, Michael Jackson, never was a king of R&B, he was a king of pop. Ah, so he's not even eligible for the list. Then there is Keith Sweat. Not gonna put Keith Sweat on the list because Keith Sweat is sort of beyond being the king of R&B. He's a, a legend, he's an icon. So just like Prince and MJ, you wouldn't try to compare them with Chris Brown because they're so much above. They're already established to such a degree that they don't have to prove anything. And in fact, they're just high up there. So that's what Keith Sweat is. He's on that pantheon of, of greatness. Bobby Brown. You can put him on the pantheon of greatness if you want to. That's cool. He's not on the list, but he is the original king of R&B, according to Whitney Houston. So you give that man his props, and he's not on this list. He's not on your list. He's not on my list. That, yes. And then there's the Pied Piper of R&B, Mr. R. Kelly. He's been disqualified. What? Yeah, he's been disqualified. He's been wetting the bed and doing a whole bunch of stuff that just disqualifies him. So, for my list, so... You may want to listen to him and everything, but any new music he puts, I mean, he's not even able to really perform because people are protesting. And when I hear his music now, it sort of makes me say, dang, and it puts my mind somewhere other than the music that I should be listening to. And that really applies to what he's been putting out lately. Because for a long time, it was a lot of rumor and all that kind of stuff. But anyway. R. Kelly is now on the list. So, starting off with me, number one. Starting with number the ten. The top ten heirs to the throne. Heirs to the king of R&B throne. At number ten, I have Lord Duval. Now, a lot of y'all may look at the speakers like that, like I'm crazy. Uh, shades on the mic looking at me like I'm crazy. Lord Duval had the biggest song this year. And yes, he's a comedian, but his song is still contagious. Is it R&B though? That song is R&B. That song is the epitome of R&B. It is right down the center, right down the alley of R&B. That living my best life. And it's an R&B song that he put the music to. Thank you. That song is R&B, but that goes to show you just how, I'm not gonna say weak, the R&B is right now, but as far as a king, someone putting out music consistently right now, it's pretty vacant. As a matter of fact, I don't have a number 10. That's number nine. I couldn't even think of 10 true R&B singers, so that's why he's on the list. And there's someone else on this list that probably won't make other people's lists, but if they really think about it, he may. But it's just a vast, it's, it's just a, a wasteland. It's, Anyway, we're going back and forth. Number nine is Lil Duval. Number eight, Ro James. I agree with you on Ro James. Haven't heard from him in a long time. But he's good. But he's a smooth brother. Give me that green light. Give me a second. Mm. I can't hit those type of notes. Yeah, but okay. Number seven is the person who set this controversy in motion. And that's Jacquees. He says he's the king of... R&B from the age of 16 to 25, so that age group. But there's no such thing. You don't have kings in different weight groups and age groups. Either your ass is the king, 
or you are not the king. And you are not the king, but right now Money Green gives you number seven on this list. You haven't had any consistency. You haven't had any major hits, like a, a, a ton of major hits. You do a lot of remixes or doing songs over or implementing old R&B songs with your new hooks or new verses or impl uh, implementing old hooks with your songs. He's in all types of, and he's had a lot of uh, guest appearances. So no, he can't be the king. Number six, Drake. Huh? Drake is an R&B dude. He's always singing something. Has some good hooks. But he's always singing, and you know that. As a Drake fan, you know that. I know, but I didn't put him on here because I, I, know I you have didn't. him as a rapper. I know you didn't. Just like Lil Duval, you have his comedian. I told you there's another person on this list that probably shouldn't make it in most people's eyes when they think about it. Drake puts a lot of R&B out. And he's always singing and whining. So number five, Trey Songs. Did I say Trey Songs? Nope. Number five is Trey Songs. That's a bad brother. Real good music, bedroom music, fast songs. See, Trey songs number five, number four, Miguel, and he got that Skywalker song this year. Yeah, really he like do. Skywalker, I do like Miguel. Skywalker kick butt this year. Yeah, That's one of my like favorite R&B songs this year. Number three is a brother who put in some major work over the past four years, and still is putting in work on stage and off stage. That's Tank. Tank got some bomb music, period. And he has a lot of albums out. So y'all look up Tank, check out all that bedroom music he has. Number two, now I really wanted to put Tank at number two, but just to give this person his respect, even though he hasn't been putting out any major music lately, but overall he has a, I'm just gonna give him his props and just put him at number two for now. But Tank probably be number two later on this year. But number two, I have Usher. Mr. Usher. I don't think he put out anything this year. No. Oh, come on, Ush. All right, we're going to forget that. We're going to put... Uh, nah, we still going to give Usher his props for what he's done over the past 20 years. Leave him at number two, but Tank is on your ass. And number one is Chris Brown. And we're going to leave it like that. Chris Brown is, if someone were to take the throne of the king of R&B, it would, it would have to be Chris Brown. He's definitely put the work in. He has a stage presence. He has the music. He has a catalog. He has the presence. He does his thing. So, Chris Brown, number one. And that is my top... 10, or I should say top 9 of the heirs to the king of R&B throne. Now, since I gave you all that good information, you were, you were able to adjust your list and fill in some blanks. Make yourself better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. Sir, you typing away over there. Yeah. I'm typing away because um. I just thought about something. I had to take a person off my list because is after he, you explained what she said about that person, I couldn't have people? that person on my list anymore. Yeah. But I had to give him his props because he made some really good music and all his CDs that he came out, he's legendary. He's legend. So maybe he should be just legendary. So you're talking about R. And Kelly? R. Kelly. R. Kelly is definitely I had, a legend. Uh, maybe we maybe he should be a legend. And he not is a, a legend. King. So I had to take I had to adjust my list because of that. Um Where was he on your list though? He was where um Chris Brown was. He was number one on your list? Yes. And that's 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 some, it's interesting that you say that because that means like a lot of women, they just overlook a lot of what he's done. No, no, no. It's hold on, not hold on, hold on. They overlook what he's done and they're just thinking about the music. So no one's saying you're out here buying this and going to concerts, but when we said the king of R&B, you were just thinking music. Yeah. And your mind wasn't polluted with everything that's been going Correct. on. Correct. Correct. But I'm not negating what he did. I know, I know. But, but you, if you, we're talking about a catalog of music, straight I music, got you. I got you. that's my man right there. I got you. You know I had all R. Kelly CDs. All you. of them. Okay. 
You got the gold one? I might not have that one. Yeah. That's the only one I don't have. Yeah. But the, the all gold, the rest the of them. The gold album. Have. That's the, the urine album. <laughs> you know, ain't no damn gold album. <laughs> Okay. She, she said, I don't think I got the I don't one. have that one. No, right. When well, you but, said the P urine album, no. Yeah, I don't have it. Because he didn't have the luxury. But well, anyway, we're not going to go there. Okay, so I did have to adjust my list a little bit because um, he had put those people on there that, what do you call them? The people who sh you thought would be on the list but wouldn't be. Um, he always has that unmentionable list or whatever he calls it. Well, this one was the what, what did you people call people who couldn't make like the icon list. The or, icon, the or people, people who, who should the be on the list, but they couldn't but, make it because can't. of certain reasons. Right. Okay. And so to be funny, I had to agree with my girl Whitney Houston and make Bobby Brown number ten. Okay. First of all, I love Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown is a great performer. Right. I feel that he could have gone further if he didn't get wrapped up in the drugs and stuff. I think he could have been better because his, his, his performance is off the hook. You cannot tell me that dude can't dance. And, you know, he was a really good performer. Mm. Okay, so we might differ because <laughs> I put Trey Songs at number nine. All right. Okay. I like I like Trey Songs, but when Trey Songs first came out to me, he wasn't as strong as that album that I can't think of where he had all the hits. That was the best album he made, and that's the one with um, um, the neighbors know my name. Yeah, um, back to back albums with a whole bunch. Oh of yeah, you know the one with Nicki Minaj. That oh, right yeah. there, birthday. That. Yeah. So yeah. he that album put him over the top. The one after that was really good. It was good, but it didn't it didn't hit number one like all his songs on that one. Okay. It should have, but it didn't. Okay. Okay, let me keep moving on. Now, I agree with you. Number, number eight. Oh, excuse me. I was about to go to number seven. Number eight was Mario. I think Mario had a good run when he was out. I like Mario. Um, I, I don't know why. Okay. That's my decision. I know. I know. Thank you. Because be before that album <laughs> came out, that Trey Songs did, Mario was doing pretty good. He had a lot of hits coming out. So I think of things as hit makers, even though... He, he wasn't out long, but the time frame that he was out, he made a lot of good hits. Trey Song's hits came later. So that's why, that's how I put him in order in my mind. Sorry. Seven, Ro James. I like Ro James. He's, when he first came out, he's a pretty new artist because I think he came out in, uh, what, 2015? I put him on your mind. 14? He wasn't in your list before I brought him up. Anyway. I'm serious, wasn't he? I couldn't think of his name, but I had his song in my Thank mind, you. but I couldn't think of his that's name. That's okay, that's fine. But, uh, but, I can't, but this wasn't about the songs, it was about the names. That's fine. So, that's fine. yes, you brought his name to light from the song I had on here. Number six. Let's get that straight. Number let's, six. Let's go to musicologist, so I'm not messing with you on that. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just throwing out that one name. <laughs> Number six, he's new to the game, but when he came out, he hit hard. He He's very new. He just came out last year. Um, Daniel Caesar. I like Daniel Caesar. When he hit the when he hit it, that song What's that he on? came out with. Oh, you didn't think he did a song with her? Um, he did that song. I'm not gonna sing it because my voice is a little raspy today. But he did that song. Ooh, I you did you didn't think mm -hmm. I didn't think. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, got you. So, and then he did that song with her. I thought that was a beautiful song because I told you that song reminds me of a uh, D'Angelo and um, my girl. You know, D'Angelo did a song with um. Oh come on, you know what I'm talking Lauren about Hill? Lauren Hill. Nothing Thank really you. matters. Nothing really Nothing, matters. Nothing so that matters. song that they did. Reminds me of that. Nothing even song. matters, I think. Yeah, it reminds me of the concept of their song. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on. Number five is Tank. And if, we, if number, I like Tank, but Tank always have one hit off of each of his albums. There's always one song that stands out that they play. I made you think about him too. He's the other one that you forgot. He was the one I forgot. Mm -hmm. You're very, you're mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. But he's a one hit from each. CD, but he writes very good for other people. 
he, he I have to give him that. Number four, but you, he has some hits on. I'm not gonna say he has some hits, but he has some bomb parts on the TGT album. Oh yeah, yeah. But this and person, a lot of his writing in th- it. This person you didn't think of, but I really like him. Mm-hmm. And I think if they would have um, promoted him more, he would have been really, really good. Bring it, Avant. All right, but okay. So you would put him ahead of Tank right now? Right. Only because. Only because the songs that Avant came out with. Back in the yeah, 2000s. Yeah, his songs that he came out with. Over 10 years ago, okay. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. What, it, it was the, the songs that he brought, he, he brought, he came out with. He like brought Avant. it. I like Avant. Okay. <laughs> Number three is Usher. Okay. I don't even need to say anything. Yeah. Usher has a lot of volumes of music, a body of music that it speaks for itself. Alright. And we agree on number t- number two, Who, which, which is, is Chris Brown. Oh, uh-huh, so who's this number one? I can't wait to hear this. I don't have a number one. You don't unfortunately. Have number one, no, because the number one was taken off. It was the ledger. So So um, your list is like mine. You only have nine people. I only have nine because after you said what you said, I had to put my number one with the legend, which I had to agree with you on. So there we go. That's all I got was Chris Brown too. I didn't put Jacquees on there at all because to me he's too new. He's like Daniel Caesar. Yeah, but something about Daniel Caesar's tone and his music and how he came out, I like him. He put me in that Roe James kind of feel and it's another guy that we did not mention and I cannot think of his name right now. He got one, he has a one word name and I cannot think of, I can see his hair. Right now, and I cannot think of his name, <laughs> but he's a good him and Ro, Ro James sounds like him. He remind Ro James reminds me of him, but I cannot think of his name right now. He's almost like a prince mixed together. And you, if I if I look up look him up, you don't know who I'm talking about. So, if we were to shift the list a little bit, because I didn't have a number ten, you didn't have a number one. So if we just aligned them. Uh, number ones are the same. Number twos are the same. And I have Tank at three. You have Tank at Five. four. Well, we understand if you put if you shifted it. Oh, okay. So Tank would be almost in the same spot. So you have Daniel Caesar on yours, and I definitely didn't have him on mine. Man, he could have easily made my number ten. And I had Yvonne on there. You didn't. Yeah, yeah Yvonne's cool. There's somebody else in the Yvonne Yvonne category. There's one other person. There's no big, we good. There's somebody else in, in the Avant category, and I can't think of his name. Oh, Joe. Joe. But Joe, I wouldn't put in R&B. I, yeah, I, I, I wasn't feeling Joe. Joe was not one of my, I mean, he, and he Joe does like a, good. He's more like a soul, like R, R, like a rhythm and soul type person. Like Johnny Gill, it's, in, in your list actually looks good. So I can't get in your list like I did Joe. <laughs> Your 90s R&B list. The only thing I would, you know, would look at you crazy was Mario being on here. And um, and Daniel being so high and Trey being so low. But yeah, it's, it's a good looking list. It's like, you know, people can get on my list with Drake being on it. Yeah, I wouldn't and have put Logan, Drake on it, even though you know how I feel about Drake. I know, and all that singing, I was surprised you wouldn't. Nah, because I, I put, I don't put him in there. Watching well, the next time you play his music, it's like, dang, there's a lot of R&B music going here. Oh, Lord. But I don't see him as a singer. I see him as a crooner. Is that what they call a it? Crooner. Crooner. That's but not singing. A, yeah, but Actually, he's crooning not, is deep singing. His, to me, is not the same. Oh. Well. I don't know, because he sings good enough to do his hooks, or just, just enough, but just... To me, not a singer. That is it for the top 10 heirs to the R&B throne. And it's messed up that neither of us could come with 10 names. Yeah, it is. 10 solid names. 10. And we were reaching. Reaching for people. You reaching for Mario. I almost put... What's homeboy? I mean, you could have put D'Angelo on there. Hell no. Okay. What's hey. the dude who say, uh, put you to bed? Who was upset? Oh, me. dang! What is his name? In Cadillac, back, back in my Cadillac. What about what's this, Bobby Valentino? Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, so it, it, a lot of those names we reaching. And Mario's a smooth brother. 
real smooth. And he just came out with an album. I think he just put out something in the past couple of months. It's another guy who's just up and coming. He plays in that movie Star. He he actually played um, Johnny Gill. Oh yes, Luke. L- Luke James. Luke James. Yeah, Luke James. He's pretty he's, good. Yeah, he's good too. Oh, we forgot Neo. Would Neo make your top ten? Yeah. For real? That would be on there. So, but I don't know if he's gonna be number one though. But I know you would put him number one. Where would you put him? I had to move some people around at the top. <laughs> So I, had, I have him between, uh, he would be between Usher and Chris Brown. For real? So that's number two on your list. Then. So that would put Chris at number one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll meet you on that. So Neil would probably be number two. Num- yeah, Usher would be moved at three. Yeah, Neil got Usher as a plate. And uh, he might be more rhythm and more soul ballad there and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's it for this episode of Lyrics and Lies. And it's just as confusing as the online debate so I'm even more confused now with this <laughs> before I started putting these names together so maybe at the end of this year we'll have more clarity so and also if you you know subscribe to our channel you know put in what you think um, between me and uh, Money Green how do you feel about our list and if you like add to the list put something on our um YouTube page and tell us what you think your list should be. Your list is. Put R. Kelly up there. That's fine. R. Kelly, Chris Brown, Casey of Jodeci, John and Gill. But anyway, we will talk to y'all later. Lyrics and lies. We are out. <laughs>